advantage, Manchester City in the race to become Premier League champions as Liverpool can only muster a draw against Spuds. That's right, but what's going to happen in the bonus week? We'll take a little look next. In a prediction video today, we look forward to uh, a handful of games, a baker's dozen, half a dozen, I don't know what you call it, of course, Premier League predictions coming at you this midweek, and we'll get to them in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button and keep banging up today, all things Premier League related, Premier League related, world football related, we got it all here, boys, under one risky, of course, yes, it's a bit of a bonus week this week, with six games on the horizon, of course, that'll affect both the top and the bottom of, of the Premier League, and we'll take a look at those, and of course, more in just a second, of course, people chat over VIPs, they're the patrons, guys, you know who you are. Of course, if you want to help us out in the channel, check the link down below, patreon.com forward slash Rovers. But anyway, let's take a look at what went on last weekend. And of course, kick it on forward to the handful of games this coming week. So here we go then, shall we? Kick it on forward. There we go. Burnley, six-fingered freak as always, did lose to Aston Villa there. 3-1 in the end. Leicester City also lost at uh, home to Everton. Give, of course, big uh, uh, the, the toughies a big old boost for the fight for the survival. Arsenal with a 2-1 win of Elise, who are in trouble. Then 3-4. And of course, it doesn't get much better this week as they take on Chelsea as well. Brighton, big 4-0 win over Manchester United. Oh my gosh, Manchester City though. 5-0 demolition over Newcastle uh, of course to put themselves at the top of the table as well. Brentford with a 3-0 win over Southampton Liverpool with a draw against Spurs Crystal Palace with a 1-0 win over Watford and Norwich with a 4-0 drop in by West Ham and Chelsea did only get a draw against Wolves 2-2 in the end on this one that's of course the state of play there what's going to happen of course in the state of play in the next week of uh, games We'll have a look at them in a minute. Of course, this is the table. As you can see, three points is the gap now between Manchester City and Liverpool. But Manchester City have a difficult game this week. Uh, Liverpool, are they in action? Yes, they are. Up against a Stevie G's Aston Villa. Uh, meanwhile, Aston, uh, Chelsea are in third. And, of course, Arsenal are in fourth. And, of course, Arsenal can be third if they were to get the win over, uh, well, uh, this week, of course, up against, who are they playing? Up against, <laughs> against Tottenham in a zinger, zinger chicken dinner, of course. Down the foot of the table, we know Norwich down, we know Watford are down, but who's going to join them? Leeds currently find themselves in the drop, uh, drop zone. Everton do have a game in hand as well. Um, so, and you might even, you might even think about Southampton. Look at Leicester City down there in 40, 42 points. Goodness gracious me. They've, of course, been competing on multiple fronts and they probably gave it their all in the Europa Conference League, but of course, not going to work out for them this time around as well. Very uh, bizarro season for them, but they do have a couple of games in hand on the teams above them. So, Let's get into it. Of course, take a look at how you guys got on. Well, this is the, the prediction league for this past week. And it is Jokub Jakobsen picking up six points. Barcelona is up there as well. And Daddy Cool with six points as well. Big, big shout out to my patrons, of course, back in the channel as they do. And of course, what about that mini leaderboard from January onwards? The man, the myth, the legend. It is. Email I say 92 points on the board. And Max and Gardy up there with 90. And Hansworth up there in bronze. That's, of course, the state of play there. What about, of course, the state of play here? Cut your four Premier League. Here are the next round of matches. There are six of them. Uh, of course, if you've already jumped in there on the website, and you put your picks in, guess what? That's for the next one. Uh, so you might want to wait. Be safe out there. Anyway, if these are the games. Of course, just a handful. Six, is it six, two, four, six? Yes, it is. Uh, we're going to kick it off down at Villa Park on Tuesday, May the 10th. Be with you. And of course, Aston Villa, Stevie G, up against Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool uh, as well. Taking place at Villa Park. Place the 55 times in 93. 13 wins for Aston Villa, 13 wins for Liverpool, and 10 draws, of course. Aston Villa, uh, unbeaten last three. 42% form for them. Up against the Liverpool side, 92% form. Uh, unbeaten in at least the last six games, probably more than that. Um, coming at you last time at Villa Park. It was a 7-2 uh, win for Aston Villa back in October 2020. Oh, my days. That was not under Stevie G, though. That was, of course, Dean Smith's uh, boys back in the day. However, they also played each other this campaign. At Anfield, was a one who went for Liverpool uh, back in December 2021. Uh, Liverpool with a, a one more draw against Spurs last round. Villa with a 3-1 win over Burnley last round. Uh, just one goal conceded over the last three games for Aston Villa. Look at the odds for this. This one, 61 is your Aston Villa. Uh, 29 on is Liverpool and 72 is your draw. Liverpool need to win this one uh, for them to get back in the thick of things. I'm going to go with a win for Liverpool. 3-1 win in the end. Uh, of course, uh, which will put them level on points with Manchester City uh, as we enter the final couple of games of the season. Leicester City up against Norwich, of course, uh, at the King Power Stadium on Wednesday the 11th of maybe with you. Uh, Pleasure to 29, 20 times to 94, eight wins apiece and four draws, of course. Leicester, though, without a win in the last seven games, of course, 25% form up against the Norwich side. Uh, uh, four defeats on the spin for them, 25% form heading into this match. Last time around, over at the King Power, was a 1-1 draw back in December 2019. The reverse fixture, of course, at Keller Road back in August was a 2-1 win for Leicester way back. Uh, match number three. Uh, Leicester with a oh, a 2-1 loss against Everton of course Norwich with a 4-0 loss against West Ham 1-2-3 games without a goal now for Norwich uh, Norwich do come to this on the back of a, a, a what are they they did lose to West Ham 4-0 <coughs> loss 
No, yeah, and Everton with a two, two loss, two, 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 one win over Leicester as well. The odds here for this one: nine to four on is your Leicester, fifty to four is your eleven to two is your away win. Got my oh my, Leicester have fallen off the face of the earth here. Two to win though for them over Norwich at the King Power to get back into some sort of normality and maybe end the season with a couple of wins as well. Watford, they are down. Uh, of course, can they dent Everton's hopes? Of course, at Vicarage Road, Roy Hodgson, of course, at the helm, but of course he will be leaving next season. Played to the sixteen times in nineteen ninety nine. Four was Watford, nine was for nine was for Everton, and three draws. Of course, Watford though without a win in the last. I don't know, six games at the very least, 0% form for them. I think it's that evident side who are on a bit of a revival, just one defeat the past five, 58% form for them heading into this match. Last time around, though, oh, at Vicar Ridge Road, it was a 3 2 win for Everton. That was back in December, that was back in February 2020. The reverse fixture course in October at Everton, and of course, Goodison Park was a 5 2 win for Watford. Seven goal Bobby Dazzler way back in match number nine. Of course, Watford with a 1 0 loss against uh, uh, Crystal Palace. And of course, Everton with a 2 1 win over Leicester at Leicester. Last time around, the odds for this one, though, Watford a 60 to 5, and 30 to 5 is draw, and five, a 6 to 5 on is your Watford, or is your Everton for this one. They are favoured to win this game on the road. Of course, Watford are down. Can they play with a bit more freedom? Of, of course. I'm going to go with a win for nobody here. One more right down the middle, which of course another point in the bag for Everton, which will be, I think, I think they're edging closer to the safety as of course the see. And again, when you looked at uh, where they were with the games that they had, the Uniteds, the Liverpools, the, the Chelsea's, all that kind of stuff, and they managed to dig it out. So fair play to Frank Lampard. I, I, I'll give him his dues here. He's done a bit of a, a fantastic job and maybe next season. They could be something else. So I think they're going to be safe. I think Everton are going to be safe. Um, I, I think uh, the likes of Leeds and Burnley are, are where it's at. Of course, Leeds are next here. Up against Chelsea at uh, Ellen Road on the 11th of May. A, a point here would be good for, for Leeds. Up against the Chelsea side, who, of course, are a bit wobbly right now. Played Chelsea 26 times in 1983. Eight wins for Leeds, 10 wins for Chelsea, and eight draws, of course. Leeds, though, coming to this 50% form for them. One, two, lost to and drawn two over the last six, however. Uh, just one win and five for them. 50% form for them. Of course, Chelsea, though, coming to this also 50% form. One, two, lost to and drawn two over the last six. Uh, one win and five for them. Also 50 percent form. Uh, looking forward to this one as well. Chelsea uh, and Leeds took down to a 0-0 draw at Ellen Road. But last time around, that's back in March 2020 on the reverse fixture course at uh, Stamford Bridge. was a 3-2 win for Chelsea back in December 2021. Of course, the last uh, time. Uh, uh, so Chelsea un uh, unbeaten against Leeds, at least of the last six occasions, scoring quite a few goals as well. Leeds, though, pick up a 2-1 loss against Arsenal. Chelsea with a 2-2 draw against Wolves at home. Uh, of course, Chelsea's last win was a 1-0 win over West Ham at Stamford Bridge. Uh, Leeds, uh, of course, are what's the odds here? Seventeen to four for Leeds, six to four on is Chelsea, three to one is draw. Here. So the, the bookies are back in Chelsea here. I think I've gone with a, I've gone with an upset here, two one for Leeds on this. Because the, chip, the Chelsea's chips are down. Leeds have got to raise their game. They've got to do something if they're going to survive in this season. Uh, and I think they'll find something within them. Uh, maybe this game's on TV. I don't know. I, I, I would imagine so. Uh, that this game is on TV. But regardless, it's a must-win game for Leeds. They've got to raise the game. If they don't, if they lose this one here, they are definitely uh, looking uh, more than likely to go down. I'm not saying they're going to go down, but of course they're going to be more likely to go down. So 2-1 win for me for Leeds on this one. Surprise, surprise. Next, of course, we have a potential, another shocker really on our hands as uh, Wolves up against Manchester City. Manchester City, of course, smashed uh, Newcastle this past weekend. But of course, uh, first difficult uh, task on the road since, of course, they crashed out to the Champions League. These two sides played each other 27 times in 1986. 10 wins for Wolves, 14 wins for Manchester City and three Draws, of course. Wolves, though, just one win six for them. 25% form for them. Of course, heading into this match, City, though, just one defeat past six. 83% uh, form for them as well. Last round, though, it Molyneux was a 3 1 win for Manchester City back in uh, September 2020. Uh, the reverse fixture course of one win for Man City at Etihad back in match number 16. That was back in December uh, as well. Wolves' last win over Man City was not, wasn't too long ago. It was a 3 2 win for them at Molyneux back in December 2019. Wolves, though, pick up a 2 2 draw against Chelsea. And of course, Man City with a 5 0 win over Newcastle. The odds, though, for this one 10 to 1 is your Wolves, 2 7 2 on is your Manchester City in 94 is drawn. Of course, the bookies are back in City on this one. I'm back in, of course, another. Uh, well, I'm actually back in City. 3 1 win for them. But of course, this could be a potential banana skin for uh, City if it's level at half time. Uh, you know, I'm not. I, I, I do think. Uh, Manchester City will not lose this game. I still think there could be a bit of a chance that they could end in a draw, which won't really change the spectrum of the Premier League. It'll still have, still have them back on the top of the table, but it'll be as you were, of course, a couple of days back then, of course. And then we'll wrap it up, wrap it up with, of course, the North London Derby. That's right, Thursday, May the 12th. Be with you now, these two sides. Of course, play each other corner. 66 times in 3 15 wins for Spurs, 26 wins for Arsenal, and 25 draws, of course. Spurs, though, just one defeat past six, 67% form for them. I think it's Arsenal size, 67% form for them also. However, they won four on the bounce. Uh, they look very, very strong at the moment. Of 
course, last time out at uh, the, the Fancy Pants Stadium, it was in competitive action. It was a 2 0 win for Spurs back in December 2020. The reverse fixture, of course, at the uh, Emirates was a 3 1 for Arsenal back in uh, September 2020. On the away side, hasn't won this game uh, since Spurs beat Arsenal in the quarter final of the EFL Cup back in December 2018. Uh, Spurs with a draw against Liverpool, Arsenal with a 2 1 win over Leeds. Uh, the odds, though, for this one, we have Spurs 11 10 for the 30 35 short, and 25 is your win. That is Arsenal on here, of course. Conte's boys should be better prepared for this one. 2 1 for them. Uh, uh, of course, for that race for the fourth spot is spicy, spicy, very, very spicy. And that put them, uh, will, will that put them in the driving seat? I think it will do. Uh, you know, well, it'll close it, close the door. It'll close the door. Of course, Arsenal have a point, four point cushion at the moment. Uh, but of course, it'll close the door as we enter the final two games of the season. Who will, of course, finish in that fourth spot? Uh, as the season comes to a close. But that is it, guys. That is it. Be sure to give the video some love and please by smashing your thumbs up. But also check out the links here uh, to get your picks in for the final game. And that is it, guys. Smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. We'll be back, of course, Friday for the for the weekend's action. Uh, of course, the FA Cup and all that kind of stuff. But until then, boys, we'll see you soon for this next. But, but before that, be safe out there. Smash your subscribe.